Is it ever situational? I mean, I think it's kind of a waste. Oh, get shit on, man. Gotta head to work, same stream, good luck. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Oh shit. I don't know why the guy is going when I'm warding, but okay, man. I was going to ward and then my Santa is just dead. But then also, I don't think I got the heal. Like, I literally went to go ward and my Santa is just like getting ran by Leona. I guess I should have painted that to back off. At least the wave is good. Yeah, I know, I didn't get heal. Why did that guy just go in? As soon as that guy easing like that, he's dead. Battle, battle for who's the worst support? My Santa isn't bad, it's just him dying or like getting caught when I'm warding is kind of bad. But like in his defense, maybe he's thinking we don't need to ward because we can 2v3 them and like maybe there is an angle that we could 2v3 them. Is this silver? No, this is actually challenger elo. I just started playing Karthus. At the time, the ADC meta was really shit. So I started playing Ziggs Karthus bot lane, but then I liked playing Karthus bot a lot. But then I tried to jungle and then it worked pretty well for me. Cause I think at the time Karthus started becoming a jungler. Like he's like a new jungler. And then I really enjoyed playing it cause his like tempo was insane. And he was like, I really, it's just like chill. I don't really get angry playing Karthus. What the f You know my son has tabbies, you can't even win the game. Like this guy's actually trolling. The 
while in today mode yeah i'm testing malignance to see how it feels and honestly i've been winning way more with malignance falling not jungle though because whenever I go malignance jungle it feels terrible but for balling i i see the vision i don't want to stay man i, I kind of want this weird item Jimbo, you're the one who hates Ezreal players, right? Is it ever situational? I mean, I think it's kind of a waste. Get shit on, man. This game is over. That was not the play. Fade Ash is too great not to take in the jungle? Exactly, it's too OP. If they if they nerf Fade Ashes, maybe I could see it. Yeah, go fucking malignance, why not? I wish I had Dark Seal. Not cool to bully silver players? Bro, this is Challenger, man. This is, search it up. Phantom Lord, hashtag NA2. I'm like 700 LP on this account. Favorite Japanese food? I don't know. I don't really eat Japanese food. I don't mind sushi. I don't hate sushi, but I'm not, not like the biggest fan. I'm like, okay with it. What? What? Do you trash talk enemies? Not really, bro. What's the point, man? Like, well, actually, what's the point? Maybe if I'm jungling, I'm getting perma invaded. Maybe. But if I'm playing ball lane, like, who cares? Oh. That's a little awkward. Oh! What do you int it? We are f throwing. You know crazy? My ca- Their Kha'Zix soloed my Nidalee with Grasp. As Nidalee, I almost never do Void Grubs. Is it strong or is it a bait? I mean, I don't play Nidalee, but I feel like you shouldn't, you should do Grubs, yes. But I don't play Nidalee, you should ask a Nidalee player about that one. I mean, it also depends on your comp though, you know? Like, if you have a split pushing comp, or they do, you don't want to give Grubs to a split pushing comp on the enemy team, you know? But if your team is playing like split pushing comp, you should get, you should get Grubs. Right? Like this game, my team isn't split pushing, so we didn't really get play for grubs, it's whatever. And the only split pusher they have is like, I guess they're solo laners, so grubs is better on them. So like denying gets nice, so if you're not going to go for grubs, you should get drags early and play bot side. And that's exactly what my Nidalee did, right? We got two drags, and we didn't get grubs, and that's fine, because our comp isn't split pushing comp. The golden XP, what they, what high elo junglers usually do, they do one and then they just leave it. Okay, if, they, if he kills on me, it's like whatever.
Ooh, I got him with IQ. Yeah, you should go for one, one or two, and then just leave the other one because if you do three, it reveals your location, and it's kind of bad. So j that's what most junglers in Hyla do. Unless you're not worried of showing your location, then you should just do it. Thanks for advice, of course. <laughs> Bro, that guy got one shot. You see that? The f uh, cannon. I didn't even need to exhaust him. He actually got one shot. My enemy team must throw like this for me in solo queue. Yeah. Probably. Everyone always throws in solo queue. Holy shit, I got one shot. If I flash the EQ, I would probably live it to be fair. Oh, my entire team died too. I won for one, my team got wiped. See? We throw enemy team throws, everyone throws. But also like, I thought it would be better for my team. I don't know how my team threw or like died though. I trade one for one. Baron's tweaking. How is my Zeri just dead off repeat? I don't understand. I guess if I die, we like lose the game, because apparently I'm my entire team. Even though I thought my entire team was useful, I guess everyone is useless except for me. So I have to just not die randomly, unless I have R up, then it's fine. But if I die and my R isn't up, it's pretty bad. Guess who's dead again? Dude, don't even burn your TP, man. Just stay. the hell are these guys doing? Why are you flashing in? You see his maul shield! Oh, I guess it worked out. I got a two shot. He's dead. I have exhaust, man. Just end the game. I have exhaust. Talk about a 1v9. I guess I'm just 1v9. Back to Malignans. I'm balling. I like it balling. On jungle, I don't like it though. Malignans felt nice though.